the top of our telecast, we focused on David Vandergulik, the senior captain for Boston University, really the best player in the estimation of Jack Parker and the coaching staff. He has a connection on the coaching staff. David Quinn, the associate head coach for BU, he was a player here at BU, played very well, but then he had a rare blood disorder, and he had to cut short his playing career. And Vandergulik had an injury, an abdominal injury, that put him to the sidelines here for the first part of the season. Here is the associate head coach, David Quinn, talking about how he was able to help his senior captain through his difficulties this year. You know, he and I had a few conversations the first part of the season because I could see he was having a difficult time uh, being the captain, being a senior, not being a lineup night in and night out. The differences were that I knew that my career was over, and the hardest part for him was the uncertainty. He wasn't sure when he was going to come back or if he was going to come back, and if he was going to be able to play next year, whether he should redshirt or try his pro, you know, start try to start his pro career. So uh, there's definitely some similarities between our two situations, and obviously we're delighted to have him back. He's probably our best all-around player, and he helps us on the PK and the power play in five on five. So uh, he handled it well. You know, there are times when you're in that situation where you really feel sorry for yourself, or not sorry for yourself, but the fact that you can't help your team when you're struggling like we were the first first half and uh, it's tough to come to the rink every day when you know you're not going to be in the lineup. Friday December 30th marked the return of Terriers co-captain David Vandergulik from an abdominal injury suffered last season. It was the date that the senior forward had marked on his calendar a long time ago as he began his long rehab. December 30th the game um, it's the last game for uh, the red shirt deadline so it was kind of a uh, it was kind of a deadline that we had in the back of our heads but uh, I was really up and down throughout the last few months, just the way I was feeling. Some days I'd be feeling pretty good and I'd skate really lightly and then the next day I'd be really sore. So it was just, yeah, I was, I was always shooting for it in the back of my mind around Christmas time, after Christmas, but uh, there were times where I thought, you know, I was pretty down because I didn't think I would make it. Well, he was really depressed for a while there and I wasn't sure he was going to get back at all and concerned about how he was feeling and what his future was going to be. And, uh, but as the uh, month of December rolled around, he started feeling a little bit better. And there was a marked change in, uh, in his skating out on the ice. You know, he'd be out walking around the skates, but he really couldn't skate. And all of a sudden, he looked like he could skate. Vander Gulick assisted on the game-winning goal against Merrimack in his first game back on the ice. His line mates, Brad Zancanero and John LaLiberty, are excited to see their teammate back on the ice. Uh, on the ice, he brings a lot of offense. Uh, I think the last couple of years, he's uh, led the team in scoring. So and that's something we struggled with. Um, the past couple of years, and, and to have him back, uh, especially this year, and we're struggling with that, is a, is a big plus for us. He brings more than just goal scoring to our lineup, I think. Uh, a little more leadership when we have you know, three or four seniors. So, um, yeah, it's good to have him back uh, as far as you know, having freshmen, have, having another guy to look up to, and you know, as far as him playing on my line, it's, uh, it's definitely a good thing. Vandergula drew inspiration from his own family on his way back to the ice. His oldest sister, Gina, was diagnosed with a blood disease two years ago. They both have tried to help one another battle adversity. She's just been a great inspiration for me, and I really look up to her. I talk to her on the phone a lot, and uh, I just, yeah, she's just, she's always there for me, and I've had times where I should be there for her. She's still always asking me about how I'm doing, and, and it should be the other way around. I should be always, you know, worrying how she is, so. Uh, I just, I'm just so grateful to have her 